it's Elle here for Merle Norman. I am a licensed esthetician, makeup artist, and retail specialist. Today I'm excited to announce our brand new launch of our soft touch shadows. Yay! One of the most exciting things about this launch is that these beautiful soft touch shadows are part of our clean category. They are 97% natural and use plant-based powders for these super creamy, super soft, like cloud airy like shadows. Let me teach you how to create this look. We're going to build upon itself. So we start with a single eyeshadow wash and we can build up to something like this. One of my favorite go-to looks is a single eyeshadow look. It's very monochromatic, very modern, very put together, and very easy. I already have eyeshadow primer on. We're going to go with Float and our Soft Touch eyeshadows. On a number two eyes brush, tap off excess. And you're going to start from the lash line and go up to the crease. Now, if the hood is a little bit stronger, like mine is, it's starting to become stronger with age, you're going to want to go up on top of the hood a little bit. Deposit color. They are so soft and silky. I'm just blending with a number three brush. Nothing's on this brush. Look at that. So put together. I love wearing single eyeshadows, A, because it's just so fast, but I love the way that it gives a simplistic, kind of dynamic and elegant look to the eyes. Now pop on some mascara, a little bit of lip gloss, and you're good to go for the day. But we are gonna add to this look. This color here is a semi-matte color. What goes great with this, though, is this beautiful color called Romance. And let me show you how to do it. I'm gonna take in a number three brush, tap in just the tip, and we can go right in the crease here. I just put my brush on a towel so there's nothing left on the brush so I can blend and blend that all the way up. When you're blending this out, what it does is this has the same color family as the first color we used, but it gives a little more punch of color so you can see a little more definition in the crease. Now you've noticed I have not brought anything on the outer third of the eye and it's for a reason. We're going to go in with Rich. Now this is a matte color. Same brush. Remember, don't use oversized brushes because the color is going to go everywhere all over the eye. You want brushes that are small and right for the eye so you can get the color right where you want it. I'm going to tap this color right here in the outer third. And we're just going to build up some definition. I'm going to take number one eyes brush and I'm gently going to blend this color in. Look at that, great definition on the outside of the eye. I am gonna take just a tiny bit again on the edge of the brush, and I'm just gonna pull it a little bit on the bottom. And this is just to connect the, the top brown color that we used to the bottom so that it looks seamless. Now, if you wanna add something a little bit more special, we're gonna go in with Spark. And you can just add this right here to the inner corner of the eye. Let's add in this beautiful color. This is called Mint. We're going to start with our brows brush, and we're actually going to tap this right here. Just ever so slightly. Look at that payoff with that color. It is so beautiful. Oh, love it. I'm just going to add some brightness to the eye as well. So here is the final look. I do love how it turned out. I really love that pop of green. I can't wait for you to try this new collection that is now permanent. Thank you all so much for being here, and I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.